So in the previous video, I discussed enantiomers and how they rotate light. Well, that's called optical activity. And so in this video, I'm going to talk about optical activity. And it is defined as the ability of a molecule to rotate a plane of polarized light polarized light and the degree to which the light is rotated is measured by a polarimeter so I spoke about before let's say that is a streak of light so it's put through the polarimeter and all of that stuff and let's say it rotated this way or it rotated this way so essentially you could rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise and so molecules that rotate like clockwise are called dextro <laughs> it's a weird sounding name but dextro so also known as d um, and so it's designated by a plus sign so these molecules rotate light clockwise And then the opposite is the vibratory. So that's designated by an L or a minus sign. And so these rotate light counterclockwise. And so one important thing to remember is that R or S configuration, whether something is designated as R or S, does not predict the direction of polarization, D or L. So they are not correlated. Like, just because something is an S enantiomer doesn't mean it's going to be uh, rotating like clockwise or vice versa. Like, that has to be determined experimentally. And so... You might ask, what happens if you put a compound that's not chiral into the um, polarimeter or the thing that you use to see how much light is rotated? So, a chiral compounds as well as a mixture of exactly 50-50 of two enantiomers and a 50-50 mix of the two enantiomers in enantiomers which is called a racemic mixture So, if either one of those things is satisfied, it will not rotate polarized light. Rotate. And so that pretty much sums it up for optical activity. Um, essentially what you want to take out of this video is that
chiral molecules will rotate light either clockwise or counterclockwise um, and so that's only determined experiment experimentally and if you rotate it clockwise it's represented by a D or a plus counterclockwise is represented by an L or a minus and so I hope you found this video helpful if you did please like it and share it with your friends